Hi, Henry Grijon, live here with Rebecca Harari. We're here in Midtown Manhattan. We're here in the area. What do you think? I'm showing here a prime retail for lease. Is this happening a lot in this area? There are over 200 vacant stores on the east side, and it's growing every single day. Wow. What is the mayor and what is the city council, what are they planning to do with all these closings of these stores in our beautiful city? What's happening? Well, actually, the city council has tried to approach the mayor. 40 of the 51 members approached the mayor and asked him to repeal the commercial rent tax, but he will not do it. The commercial rent tax, I believe, needs to be repealed over the next three years in order to give the city council and our future mayor enough time to uh, to work without the revenue that was coming in from it. How about your opponent, Keith Powers? What is he planning to do, being a lobbyist as we know he is? The, Keith Powers says, you know, how are we going to live without the money? It's, but it's very interesting to hear that actually our current city councilman, Dan Garonik was quoted in Cranes Magazine, and I'm going to paraphrase, but what he did say was, is I'll, if, the, if the mayor will repeal the commercial rent tax, I'll find the difference in the money within 10 minutes. Really? Yeah, so it's not so terrible. I don't understand why the mayor is being so stubborn. If we could repeal the commercial rent tax, we could keep jobs going. We could get a stock back on, on our, our businesses' shelves. We could start getting the stores open again, and the coziness and the, the, um, the charm of our neighborhoods will come back. That's the problem, because every single time another store closes, we have more homeless come to the area, more crime comes to the area, drugs come to the area. This is not what anybody wants. And so Mayor de Blasio has to do something about it. And our, my opponent, Keith Powers, is going to do nothing about it. He agrees with Mayor de Blasio that we should not do anything about the commercial rent tax. Incredible, incredible. So this is Henry Grigion Live, and we're here, and we're speaking with Rebecca Harari. She's running on the 4th District, 19 days away from the election. This election is very important for the, what's happening in the city, right? So you do feel confident right now, 19 days away? 19 days away toward victory. We're very, very excited about it. We were written up in the Wall Street Journal as being anybody's race, and we know this is going to be our race because the word has to get out there that uh, Keith Powers is a lobbyist, and I come to this job with clean hands. And we need more, more women in the city council. What's yes. the ratio right now of the women uh, that we heard there's, about? There's only eight women in city council right now, and you know what? And with 51 members, that's not healthy. We need yeah, more right, women right. in city council to represent women's issues, and I am running on the Women's Equality Party line. I am also running on the Republican line, on the Reform line, and the Stop de Blasio line, which is a great line that anyone, whether you're Republican or Democrat, you can vote on to send a message to City Hall that we don't want any more stores closed. We want to get our stores open. We want to get business back in New York City. We want to get more people of jobs, and we want to keep our safe neighborhoods safe. Awesome. So 19 days away, you're going to hit the ground running, oh, right? Yeah. So we're ready for you, Rebecca Herreri on the 4th District. Don't forget, four party lines, and we look forward to you coming out and making this city, you know, the best it can be, right? And go Yankees! Go Yankees, don't forget that. God bless you, thank you so much. Henry Live from Midtown Manhattan, reporting live.